All right, just got up from my nap and can I just give the chickens some cat food to help with their protein intake to help with their feathers? And can I just get the eggs? Mm -hmm. All right, you ready? Here you go. Here's for your feathers. Try and fix your feathers. Hopefully, poor babies. Here's some more. Here you go, Luda. You don't look so good either, do you? Poor babies. Hi, Heather. There you go, buddy. Buddy, buddy. Hello, Lenore. You don't need any, but... So I'm not going to send to you. There you go. See? There you go. Back there, that's Betsy. Big old Betsy. Who's typically the bully. Well, she's at the bottom of the pecking order. But she's also a bully. But look at how bad her feathers are. I mean, she's getting the new ones in, but... Thankfully, like today, it's actually 60 degrees. I was expecting it to be cold because it was cloudy, but 60 degrees. Yeah. I know. I know. I know. All right, I have a little bit more for you. Here you go. I put the pool underneath the, um, where this tarp drapes because it rained today. So now they have fresh rainwater in there. So if they need more water, they can get it. <laughs> Someone's missing. No, nope, Olivia there, Heather. One, two, three, four, five, black. One, two, three, four. No, four black. No, there's five black. And five white and two brown. Someone's missing though. Poor Sasha's in the back. She looks so bad, poor baby. All right, well that should help. Okay, now let's check the eggs. They don't usually lay in this one, but Betsy sleeps there at night now, so every morning I have to get the poop out. Nope, nothing there. Okay. Horn blows. Goodness gracious. Okay. And then I'm looking here. And there's one egg. Woohoo! And some poop up in there, too. I got to take care of that. The feathers, I've started just leaving the feathers in because I think maybe they're cold. Look at that. That's so gross. Ew, 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 ew. Let's put it in the cup. All right. So I did give them their food. And I did um, check their eggs. Can I just check their food and water in here? I can. I already scooped their poop from last night into my bucket. That liquid gold. Are they poopy, poopy gold? All right. Let's look in here. Food. Oh, you're doing okay. Let's probably top it off. Let's get some more food. Water in the back is okay. Water on the side is also okay. And I also I do keep a um, thermometer, outdoor thermometer, out here so I can take a look to see what the temperature is for them. Actually, in this pen, usually ends up being about the same. As outside but I do have these boards that keep the wind out and I do have these shower curtains here that help keep the breezes out too I'm going to fasten them down um, I ordered some wiggle wire tracks and I think I'm gonna use those to fasten these this plastic down because then I can reuse it uh, next year as well I just have to figure out how I'm gonna fasten them to the walls and I started their pumpkin know if I see progress yet we'll check it later <laughs> all right can I just grab some of this calendula to bring it in to dry That one seeds look like they're ready. Good. And that seed looks like it's ready too. Good. Thank you. Uh oh. And can I get some of this stand of calendula for drying and tucking seeds too? 
Okay, after the calendula, can I just inspect the cherry tree um, shrub volunteers I transplanted? The roots were uber deep. Really, really deep. That one's still pretty happy. So when I pulled them out, they lost a lot of roots as well. There's a little guy back there. They came from these shrubs here, Carmine Jewel Cherry. Um, the cherries are tart like for pies. And so here's, a, here's something I always do. I'll just show you this real quick. I always start off new beds with cardboard. And then a lot of times I'll put wood chips on them. But then the other part I have to consider is that when I let my chickens out of their run, they come back here too. I mean, they, they go all up in those and Josh's arches. They go in the orchard. I let them go into the cutting garden now to get any pests. And they do come over here. Um, Chief had made a pile of wood chips in the middle of these and they have successfully scattered them very well for him. So this is something I'm working on. Um, if it hadn't rained, it'd been raining all day, but if it hadn't rained, I would have come out and then watered. And that's one of the, th the things I do which probably drives the chief crazy, but I like to leave watering cans where I know I need to water. Or I like to leave shovels where I know I'm gonna to need to transplant. So things like that. All right, it's been probably at least a week and I keep walking by this asparagus saying I really need to cut it down because it's turning yellow now. I need to trim it back. So I suppose I could add that to my can I just I will leave my little clippings here. This is my calendula with seeds and for drying. And then I will clip my asparagus down. And okay, brain, that literally took less than a minute with my clipping shears to cut them down. There's a branch over here. Now I see that I have strawberries growing. Great, that's awesome. And the stand over here literally less than a minute but all week I've been looking over at that saying I gotta get to it gotta get to it and one reason I like to cut this down when it's yellow in the um, fall is so that critters aren't gonna overwinter in it and when the shoots come up in the spring I'll be able to see them real easy if I still have all this foliage there I'm not gonna be able to see the new sprouts as easily and harvest them and I have to cut them all back to try to find them you might do it different, this is the way I do it. All right, I'm over by the orchard area anyway, so can I just peek at the artichokes? Oh my goodness, they are growing very well. Like I said, today it's 60 degrees. We're having a nice warm spell again. They are growing very, very well. I don't see any flower buds though, and if I see flower bud, then I gotta cut it, because that's the part that you eat before the flowers come out. If you want to, you can leave some of the flower heads and then collect seeds. But I figured I'd check it and say, wow, this is doing really well. All right, as I am walking over to the front yard, can I just take a peek at the parsley? Oh, that looks pretty happy. Again, got a lot of water, a lot of rain, mild temps, it's doing pretty well. And can I look at the spinach and cabbage oh look at how happy they are but I also didn't get any chickens coming in here and scratching it all up that's so cool see now this looks like kale I didn't want kale I want cabbage see how the leaves are a little bit longer these are a little bit shorter and they're light colored that's kale that has got to be cabbage that's kale see I'm not that crazy I might be crazy I'm not that crazy that's cabbage and then the spinach is doing pretty well spinach is pretty happy in the cold doesn't mind it and it may come back or it may recede parsley's happy in the cold parsley keeps coming back every year well that's exciting i'm glad i looked at that okay i'm out front berry bushes can i just look to see if i have those blackberries if they're ready or not but you see how the berry bushes change color too in the fall i love it I love plantings that have multiple season interests. This one over here, I know I'm getting distracted. This over here, this was that deciduous holly, and it's got all the berries now. 
but the leaves are gone. And then over here in the back, now you can really see the choke berries. Those are choke berries. And the birds are supposed to like it, and I don't see that they're eating it at all, so I don't know what's going on. Um, this is that birch tree. And the way the leaves are so, so dry in the middle, it makes me think it wasn't getting enough water. All right, it's not a bad idea to look at it. The uh, native aster clumps, the huge clumps, just about done now. We just have a few flowers left. All right, back to can I just look for blackberries? And you know what? And that's what a lot of times will get me out of the house even. It's almost like an Easter egg hunt. Can I find things that are ready? Can I find things that are ripe? So here are some blackberries here. But when I touch them, they're all dried up. This one in the middle is dried up. And just came right off. So that's not worth that's not worth anything. I'm gonna to toss it to the birds. Um, I have some more here. Nah, don't look great. Those are dried up. Those are spent. The good ones were back here. And ah no. What it looks like is it looks like the frost killed them off. Or it could have been the uh, the freezing frost probably what did them in okay so I looked okay can I just pick some of the straw flower I walked by this bed the other day and I saw some <clears throat> but it was dry so I don't know what they're gonna be like but I'll pick them and I'll bring them in anyway okay the same bed can I just walk around and check on the strawberries and I see strawberries growing and actually sending out vines already look at that look at that I just planted these not that long ago it feels like not that long ago maybe it's a month ago there's some strawberries there there's some back there there's leaves over there nice and green again they like the cool they like the wet, but it's still warm enough that they can grow. Come around here. Oh, there's one. It's right next to one of the magnolia leaves. But look at how the alyssum is still popping. Holy smokes. I really like that. Russian sage is doing okay. I just put that in this year. All of these flowers were doing okay. Coleus is done. The coleus is an annual I did take some clippings I will cut them back at their roots to leave the root system in the ground to promote some um, oh beneficial fungi and um, bacteria and nematodes that are good things like that they're gonna come and eat all the roots but look at how well that alyssum is still going and the cool thing with this is that it's gonna self seed and reseed next year so I won't likely have to plant any more next year or the following years. It'll just do its thing. Oh, there's some strawberries there. Check the lavender. Nothing really to harvest that's worth it. These are not lavender, but they look like it, don't they? They have that kind of same form, but I'm pretty sure they were an annual. And I am pleasantly surprised that they have not died off in the frost. This was the um, pineapple sage with the red flowers that hummingbirds like, and it's gone. It's a, it's an annual, too. I did not collect any seeds, because it feels like it, t it took a long time to get going. There's a bunch of dill in here. I planted a small little bit of dill in here. Actually, no, I saw a volunteer. Probably came from the other bed, so I left it in there. Wow, it's doing pretty well. Okay, good to know that lavender's new. Still hanging in there and we have a flush of yarrow again wow look at that I'm gonna cut those off too before they die off on their own all right I think that's all I'm gonna do right now and my brain is saying get inside the house it's gonna storm or something I don't know but How's a mouse eat an elephant? A little bite, one bite at a time. How do we do this stuff? A little at a time, one plant at a time, just five minutes at a time. 
I wear a coat. <laughs> I don't need it today, it's 60 degrees, but my coat has huge deep pockets. And in fact, the one pocket on the right hand side, is, it has a hole in it. And so my tools all fall down inside my coat. So I'm always, I always have a pair of scissors or uh, what else do I have in there? I think I have, I think I have clippers in there. Hold on a minute. Yep, my pruners. Pruners, I have pruners, which actually I saw the milkweed, the sad milkweed needs to get cut down. I could do that, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna stop. But anyway, thanks for coming with me after my nap with some of my can I just because it is important. I have some more can I just inside the house. For example, I have tomatoes soaking in vinegar solution and I'm going to cut out the bad parts and put them in the blender and just throw them in the, um, well I'm not gonna throw them, but I'm gonna put them in um, trays in the dehydrator for tomato paste. So that is on my list. And I have smaller sweet potatoes I might peel and cut up into french fries, then blanch and freeze. But all of those steps together sounds too much today. So I don't know that I'm going to do all that. I think I'm pretty satisfied with what I got done just in the few minutes that I've been with you guys. And that is, right now it says 16 and a half minutes of film. <laughs> so, all right. I love you guys. Happy Monday. Pray for me. Tomorrow I get uh, my new crown on and I'm kind of nervous. Because this permanent or the temporary crown is kind of painful to bite on, but I'm afraid of a new crown going on with pain. So we'll see. But anyway, learn and grow, learn and grow some more. I love you all. I can't do it. You're cutting there. Go. Love you all, and I will talk to you later. Bye.